in my opinion, maybe relative to the opponent draft, perhaps Secret's weakest draft of the tournament, I dare say. Uh, but that doesn't mean they have a weak draft. This keeper of the light goes back ages. Kuro, though, well, his Rubik is fantastic, but he can't survive this. First stun, second stun, Invictus Gaming, even with a Storm Bomb, they commit all three control abilities to claim the first We'll see if they're going to do it. It's the same thing. Like this is fishy right now. It was the same thing that happened in the mid, though. Like, and that was with two players that were able to keep them at bay. Now the movement down. Luo is a fair way up, but they said by face down with the shards bringing Tron towards the front lines. The walk has gone off, and Kuro, the sick chart is tail weight and available for him. Can he survive through it? Well, at this point, only the ventral spirit down. Tron's going to join him, and the raid's not enough. I mean, he's done this. Ferrari with the wreck move. There's minimal damage. It might be enough to kill off S4, but Kuro stealing raid, returning. Picked up a double kill. They lose only Puppy. As well as Chuan. But the funny thing is, Puppy isn't there. He's he going can, to cut the weight in net. He can actually TP. <laughs> They, they just can't keep momentum, and even S4 is moving down the bottom end to keep it in. And I have had enough of this. They're not playing Ring a Ring a Rosie. They're coming in to take out Roshan. The Sigil's down. In come the shards with the Fade Ball. Roshan will be killed up by the Radiant. Lashrak will take the Agassi Mortal, but they're all trapped in here. Copping Illuminus to the face. Fade is around the back end. There's no vision. The Snowball in. It's dying close. Glimmer came trying to escape. He doesn't need the Sentry Wolf just on the edge. Ferrari fires up the ult. He's going to be in range of Puppy, who's now also dead. The number four, but you have Fade thrown up on top of the cliffside. But He's got swap available. Kuro doesn't want to come back into this. Maybe he can still swap and get back down again. He's got one race, but he's stranded on the high ground. IG take three, as well as Roshan, and a horrendous fight for Secret. But yeah, Fnatic game. You, you, you want to fight, but you just can't. Like, there's just no choice. That's going to give them a rush. They're playing it very methodically. They're doing such a good job at map controlling. This is pretty much a, a textbook. Look at this map. They're so cornered inside their own base. They really can't get out. Secret are pushing all the lanes, farming all the jungle, farm, forcing out BKBs for nothing. And now they decide it's go time. Oh, how quick can they do it? The sun's already gone over an RTZ. And, well, Luo, he's a little bit controlled, keeps the back turn to S4, looking for the cool spray stacks to go on him for S4, not to mention he's mana leaked, so it's kind of difficult to stand where he is. IG have to fight now. It's going to be daytime in 30 seconds, and then this is going to be twice as hard against that Coddler Luminate. Well, Vernon's got a little bit more survivability when he goes in. It's, a, it's actually a plate mail. Sitting back there to swap on Poppy. Snowball comes in. Zai couldn't save his Keeper of the Light, but BS, he can. Stealing swap once again. Blinding Light. The Gemma True side is down on the ground. They want to be picking this one up, but Luo, he's so far back. Arteezy just ignored the rest of the world. He's gone for the tier 3 tower on top. It's the Solomon burning all by himself. He's a three on one. Arteezy goes man mode with the bash on Ferrari 4 3 0. Can he find more? He just goes back to Rax. Remember, Jake base gaming the rest of his team is on the bottom ferrari's trying to stop out easy but he can't do it the blink away to safety the top melee racks is gone the bottom melee racks will soon join it and out easy comes back for seconds he wants the range racks on top or move towards the mid secrets mopping up the rest of the bottom and it looks hopeless for ig right now they're gonna lose two lanes of racks this is I think they lost three. I think this is over. Um, I don't know what they can do anymore. There's 30 seconds on Bristle. I think their chance of taking a team fight is pretty much non-existent without him. I think he just doesn't care. He's waiting 10 seconds until he's got the Abyssal Blade off cooldown. Then he'll probably have a crack at it. But they just keep, keep putting the Solar Crest on him. So he's 100% fine when he jumps in. The Bro doesn't have the melee, and Ferrari swap back out again. Kuro still had the triple stun from Chuan, doing some work. Requiem from Ferrari, he'll be pulled up into towards the air with the Walrus Punch. The only still did go off with the Snowball back. Secret haven't lost anything. In fact, I think they've won it. And he made it destroy them all. They haven't lost the hero. IG, they're all dead. And the game is secret. What game number one of this best of three semi-final of ESL 1 Frankfurt. It goes to the tournament favorites. Now they are one victory away from facing up against EG and denying IG the potential to have exactly the same final as we had here in 2014. The IG versus EG matchup. It's looking difficult, since That might be the biggest outplay of the tournament past minute 20. It's like IG couldn't do anything on the map.